All right, so let's take a quick look at time series forecasting in Python. There are a number of methodologies for time series forecasting, ranging from simple linear trend to more complicated linear models like ARIMA models, up through advanced deep learning methods called LSTMs. But one approach that I really like is the approach taken by Facebook when they built the Profit Library. They designed this library to be usable both by entry-level analysts, as well as data scientists that might be willing to sacrifice a percent of accuracy to get the job done. Let's take a closer look at Profit. We're going to be working with Kickstarter data that starts in 2009 when Kickstarter launched, and we're going to be looking at the number of projects started every month. And so we can see that this starts at a very low level, followed by a period of rapid growth up through 2014, 2015, where things peak, followed by a slow decline and maybe plateau in 2017. We need to modify our data frame just a little bit in order to fit a profit model. So we need to have one column titled DS for our date series, and then we need to have a column Y, which is going to be the target. In this case, this is the count of projects started for each month. We're then gonna go ahead and import the profit library. We're gonna create an empty profit model, and then we're going to fit the profit model on our profit data frame. And so nothing too exciting happens here. In order to make a forecast, the first thing that we need to do is add some empty rows for the forecast period. So we're gonna add 12 months to the end of our data frame with a frequency of month. And now we can see we have dates for 2018, which is the year we wanna forecast for. We're now ready to forecast our data. So now let's go ahead and use a predict method and predict on our future data set. And let's take a quick look. So we get a data frame return that has the future date, the future prediction, as well as error bands. And there's a very nice plotting function that just automatically will plot our forecast. So we can see that this blue line is going to be what Facebook profit is forecasting. And we can see they've incorporated some very nice seasonal trends along with this overall trend. But if we wanted to break down the components of Facebook profits model approach, we can do so by asking for the plot components. And so we can see the general trend they've approximated is this general rise from 2009, peaking in 2015 with a slow decline up to 2019. We can also see the seasonal approach that they've taken with a lot of volatility around the middle of the year. But overall, at the beginning of each month, we see a spike in projects started with a decline towards the end of each month. And finally, if you're a fan of Plotly, there's a Plotly plot as well that offers nice interactivity for these forecasts. We can break things down and take a look at these various grains of our forecast. And if you're an R user, there's an R package for this as well. But if you have a time series forecasting problem to tackle, I highly suggest taking a look at Facebook Profit.